Okay. So remember, guys, we talked about what our restrictions are for our, with our sine function, um, with finding the inverse sine. So remember, what we're trying to do is we're given our value now, and now all we simply need to do is find the angle, right? So first of all, I need to determine, I'm going to kind of write up when is my sine equal to one half. So if I was going to kind of draw a little marker in my unit circle, okay, our sine value is going to be one half at 60 degrees, where this would be radical 3 over 2, comma 1 half. Guys, just look up here. I'll, go, I'll finish that up in just a second. Uh, you can have negative radical 3 over 2, comma 1 half. This would be at uh, Oh, 50 then down here, here two, one half, and then at this point over here, we have three over two, comma, negative one half, right? Those are all your possibilities when sine is going to be one half, but then we look at this, well, we only are concerned about, that's the negative version, we're only concerned about the positive values of it, correct? So obviously, these two sine, these two points aren't going to work for us because sine is actually a negative one half. And we're looking for what is the inverse sine of positive one half, right? So let's just go ahead and eliminate these two automatically. So we don't even need to be worrying about those two points. So now we have two angles. So let's look at what are these two angles. This angle is pi over 6, correct? Correct? So this one's pi over 6. And this one is going to be 5 pi over 6, right? Okay. So now we need to determine which one's going to work. Well, remember, guys, we talked about we talked about the restrictions that we have before our sine. Remember, sine has to be between pi over 2 and, I'm sorry, negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So it has to be between these two values. So obviously, our only angle that's going to work is going to be this angle, right? Because this angle is not within our restriction or actually within our range. So therefore, you can say that the inverse sine of 1 half is going to be pi over 6. I mean, then it can't go the other way. Right, it can't go around that way because remember when we flip the graphs over? That's outside, you know, that would make oh. it not a function anymore, right? Okay. So that would be too much. Yes? Um, the chart on 294, is that what we pretty much use to find our inverses? Um, right now, I just want you guys to be, you know, because you're not going to have access to that chart. That's a great way to be able to check your work, though, but it's not always going to be, you know, how you're going to find your inverses, okay? Um, but that's how you find your inverse for that.